Now, I'm supposed to be here with my good friend Simon Bridges, but I want to tell you what's happened is in the last hour, his, one of his sons has had an accident at school and now he's in, uh, in hospital. And so Simon texted me 20 minutes ago to say that he can't be with us. Uh, and I've told him, mate, uh, please just stay with your family. But I wanted to announce today that uh, Simon Bridges is going to be our finance and infrastructure uh, spokesperson for the National Party. He's going to be number three in our lineup. And uh, I really wanted to be able to come here with Simon, have him here, and just, uh, I think he's going to be amazing. For those of you who don't know, uh, Simon and I go, we're good friends. We've been friends for a long time. I worked with him in my past life when he was the outstanding Minister of Transport. Uh, we did a lot of work together around electric vehicles and also around airline alliances. But he is a really prodigious talent. He's got really complementary skills. Uh, he's got a big brain uh, and does a, a great work ethic. So he's going to be taking it to Grant Robertson. As I said, uh, you know, back on um, when we took over the leadership, we are going to make sure we have a top team that is man, person on person, much better than the government. And I think Simon Bridges taking it to Grant Robertson is going to be a really great contest. And I have no doubt about it, he'll make an outstanding finance infrastructure minister for New Zealand. As I said, I think by Monday morning, when you see the full team, you'll sit there and go, righto, um, what does this person on that person in the government look like? And who would you prefer to have as a minister? Well, look, he's, he's, he's head of the Finance and Expenditure Committee. Uh, he's, also been a, he's also been a great transport minister, which links him very, very strongly into infrastructure. But the important thing is he's got a big brain and he can dive into some of the big fundamental issues that we've got to face going forward. Is fundamentally, after 30 years, how do we create an economy that generates more income for people? Because New Zealanders are some of the hardest working people on planet Earth but we're not yet able to generate higher wages and salaries. And when we do that, we get more choices with our lives. Well, we've just got to start delivering, don't we? I mean, I mean, that's my background, sort of having worked in large organisations around the world and in New Zealand and forging really good teams. Uh, that's why you know, I was selected uncontested as the leader, because I come with no baggage uh, from the recent events. And you know, the caucus have wanting me to do that job, pull them together and unify them. Uh, and we will go through it. And the first test was, can we get an uncontested leadership? Uh, transition, which we did. That is how the National Party used to do things uh, until recently, and so that's a very good first step. So, but I get it. You know, we've got 413,000 New Zealanders that have left the National Party, uh, and I want to say to them directly: you know, we want you back, uh, and our job is to earn your trust and to follow it up with words, with action. Speaking of trust, how much do you trust him? Oh, absolutely, totally, total trust him. Uh, as I said, he's a good friend, and we have been friends for a long time. Um, uh, because of our relationship in my past life and, and, and the work that he did as a Minister of Transport. He was an outstanding Minister of Transport, by the way. I mean, I don't know whether you fully appreciate what he achieved and what he did, but he, he did a great job. So that's the work that we're going through now, from number four to 33, uh, but more importantly, finding the skill set of each individual and making sure they're pointed where their skills, abilities and experiences really sit. But why was it important to announce this one first? Because I want to signal that Simon is a really critical part of our team going forward. So you've seen myself, you've seen Nicola Willis, you've now seen Simon Bridges, and going forward we'll make sure that uh, by Monday, as I said, the rest of the caucus will be in place.